Till recently, most scholars considered the Vedic text to be mythological writings of superstitious aborigines. Indology, though a popular and respected subject in universities today, has a lamentable history of prejudiced scholarship. The modern study of Indian literature and culture started in the 18th century. During the early days of the British rule in India, the first Indologist Sir William Jones, H. H. Wilson, Max Muller and others are generally considered to be brilliant scholars who made the glory of Vedic literature known to the world. However, the covert agenda that they all shared is mostly unknown. They all considered themselves as bearers of Christian light to ignorant and superstitious Indians. Their religious convictions compelled them to study the Vedic literature, not open-mindedly to understand them on their own merit, but with the express objective of proving their inferiority to Christian theology. Although they superficially appreciated the Vedic literature, their overall presentation was intended to describe those literature as incoherent and mythological. For example, Theodore Goldstucker, in his deceptively named book, Inspired Writings of Hinduism, assailed the validity of Vedic literature. His aim was to demonstrate to Indians that he had scholastically annihilated their scripture and that they should show their appreciation by adopting European values and improving their character. This biased scholarship was motivated not just by religious zeal, but also by political expediency. It was an essential part of the overall British political strategy to consolidate their hold of India, since the Indians far outnumbered them. And the shrewd Britishers knew that they could rule India only with the cooperation of the Indians and easiest way to get that cooperation was by proving intellectually to the Indians that their own culture was pathetically inferior to what the British were offering them. The theories we like, we call them facts, and the facts which we don't like, we call them theories. This excellent remark of Felix Cohen summarizes the British approach to the study of India's history.